Hi guys, I know it's been a while. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, so much stuff has been happening, bruh. So many things have been happening, but you'll catch that in my life update that I'm gonna post in a couple of weeks. And that video is just me being ultimately transparent with everything that's been going on in my life. The good, the bad, the ugly. Um, but God is faithful and that's not what this video is about. This is a happy video. <laughs> so um, yeah, thank you guys for still allowing my channel to grow even though I'm not here. I get messages, DMs on my Instagram. I'm really trying to grow my Instagram right now, my TikTok. So make sure you guys follow that. All that will be here on the screen. And yeah, join the family, join the Miss Ola family. But if you guys don't know me, my name is Amaniola Ladimeji, and I am a content creator, hairstylist, and just all around entrepreneur. So welcome to my channel, and I hope this is a place that you decide to reside. <laughs> um, so without further ado, let's get into this video. I have somebody I want to introduce you guys to. This person is super special in my life. He is the Oba of my destiny. <laughs> I'm capping like shoot. Um, but I'm gonna introduce him with the song. Are y'all ready? Let's go. Hi guys, so this is King. I think King is really sleeping right now king say hi to your aunties and uncles say hi king look up he's really tired guys i think he's trying to sleep because he's on my lap but this is king king is three months old september 5th so today's september 16th he's three months and a half and he's my dog <laughs> um the story behind me getting king is one of a kind and I just want to kind of share with you guys um, so king is a Yorkie poo right king you're a Yorkie poo and I got king July 29th um, but he had been in the works since July 14th I think after my friend Lola's birthday and let me tell you all the story behind king so I was supposed to be going to Atlanta the week of July 16th-ish, um, but I ended up not going anymore. I canceled my flight and everything, canceled my trip, didn't go. So I was at home working one day and I was leaving work on my lunch break to go to the Aldi or whatever next to my house. Then I see adjacent from my house, um, another house that says puppies for sale. And I'm over here like, I didn't see this here last night. I was here. And I was like, hmm, that's interesting. So I text my sister, who I live with, and I told her, I was like, isn't that crazy? Puppies for sale. So she's like, she'll text the person just to be curious. And she texts the owner, and her name was Charlie, and she had had puppies. Um, her, her two dogs had had a puppy, Yorkie Poo, King and his brother at the time. I think his name was Snickers or something like that because he looked like multi-dimensional. I'll post clips of everything that I'm saying just to, so you guys follow the testimony. You okay? Um, so here, say hi. King, look. He just wants to cuddle y'all he just wants to cuddle. so yeah um so she had said she had dogs for sale and my sister had asked her why are you growling like that what's wrong <laughs> and my sister had asked her and my sister texted me she's like bruh I'm a Neola. you're not gonna believe it's a Yorkie poo I said what I've always wanted a Yorkie poo always wanted a Yorkie poo and I used to have a fear of dogs. So that's kind of like my story, like, which is so crazy. I literally used to be terrified of dogs. I couldn't pet them. They felt weird to me and everything. And now look, I have my own baby. And so she texted me, she's like, is he Yorkie Poo? 
and they gave us all the details and everything and I was like bro god is this like how you know I'm supposed to be in Atlanta right now how is this dog mine you know what I mean and so he she um let us meet King his name was Coda at the time but I didn't want that to be his name just because you know names are very sentimental to me and I had asked God to give me a dream of what his name should be and the name was King like Oba like King of Kings you know that kind of thing and it's like you know God is very important to me so I always seek him in any decision I make so um so I met King and love at first sight he was so much smaller than this he's so big now bruh so big but they don't get over eight pounds eight to ten pounds Yorkie poo so he'll still be a very small dog as long as I can carry him um but I met him and I was like yep this is my dog the color everything I was like yep this is my dog this is my dog and it was beautiful you know and um Yorkie poos usually go for 3.5 K and up guys I don't know if you know how much dogs cost but they cost a lot okay um they cost a lot of money so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you it's okay he's literally like a baby he is a baby guys he's a baby he's a baby right? okay so he needs attention like a baby sleep sleep lay down but yeah um so i got him and you know i got him for 1.3 1.3 k instead of 3.5 k and that's a steal and I wish we could have had his brother too, but that would have been a lot. So there's a lot of things that go into having dogs and stuff. And let me know if you guys want updates on him and stuff like that. I will really try. He literally went viral on my Instagram. I was so confused. I was like, meet King, 13.8K later. I said, uh-huh, over a dog? <laughs> um, but yeah, he's really good. The hardest thing is training him. Um, you all know I travel a lot, I work a lot, all that kind of stuff. So the hardest thing, hardest thing is training him, but thank God I have my sister who helps. So we kind of balance that out throughout the week. Um, he's still being potty trained currently. He gets it and then he doesn't get it. So if you guys have any tips, please leave it down below. Um, he's starting to develop anxiety a little bit uh, when we leave him, but he is, he is crate trained, which helps so I can sleep throughout the night and he don't bother me, you know? But um, yeah, so. This is King and I just, I'm so happy. I'm happy I have him. He came at a time in my life where I needed, I needed him and God knew I needed him. And I'm grateful for King and I'm grateful for his, you know, his little ways that he has. So I'm still training him and stuff and he's a good dog. He's a, he's a good dog. I can't lie. He's a good dog. Now we're teaching him how to like go outside and stuff. He does not like walks. He's a lazy ass dog. <laughs> he doesn't like walks. So today was my first day walking him outside and I was basically dragging him with me. And I'm like, no, oh, King, come on, you good boy. And then I was trying to run, you know, do a little jog or whatever. He didn't really like that too much, did you? He didn't like that, did you like that? He didn't like it. But he's good. Um, we shower for him twice a week. I don't like smells. And dogs they can smell okay so I shower for him twice a week he doesn't like showers um he likes food though I've been feeding him like human food like sweet potatoes and stuff um quinoa white rice boiled chicken and then his dog food sometimes so yeah everybody this is King and he's my dog so if you have any questions on Yorkie Poos or anything, leave them down below. If you have any tips on Yorkie Poos or how to help raise them and that kind of stuff, please send help. <laughs> but we're doing good so far. Like I can't, honestly can't complain. And I think my sister gets more frustrated than me, but I just know that he's a puppy, you know? So it's gonna take time to, to learn. It's gonna take time to learn them and, you know, just grace. Honestly, just like you would extend grace to a human being, you have to extend grace to dogs because they're not, you know, they're not baby. They're not human beings. They're dogs. They're still dogs. So, Ooh. King, 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 say bye bye, Auntie. Bye bye, Uncles. <laughs> All right, guys. So, that's just a little snippet into something new that's been going on for me, and it's taking care of a whole pet. He's my child, okay? <laughs> I know. Tell them. Tell them it's not easy. Mommy's tired. Okay. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.